Gave us a warning that uh, take a bus. It uh, might be dangerous at this time to drive because you might be attacked by an SUV or a motorcycle. I'm ready. Yesterday's morning started with a good vibe and honestly a happy tears. Yesterday's night and today is just terrible. I have never imagined that uh, it could all go so wrong. I'm feeling sad and hopeless. It's just really sad that this one small document can affect us so much mentally and financially. As I understand, Daniel already paid this sum in cash and uh, he did not get the receipt and he was said uh, first uh, that he needs to wait one and a half hour for this paper to be proceeded and ready. It's like we are not spending even time here, we are not enjoying ourselves. Ghana in our memories is gonna be bad memory. It feels like this uh, country is really corrupt as you need to pay these third party insurance companies and everything like that. Everything happens in cash, not credit card. She looking situation. I don't know honestly what to think about this. If I would have money, I would without thinking pay all so I would not have a problem. But as we don't have this money, it's... Um, a really sore feeling, to be honest. It's it was like a break off. I should have got all this full information when I was in Spain, or even from Ghana Embassy when I was applying for the visa. Like, man, it's just a fucking rip off. They're playing with the price. It started around 98 euros plus some extras. Then it got to around 260 euros, and now it's around 230 euros, and it went back up to 280 euros, and now it's back down to 150,000 cephas, which is around 230 euros. And I'm just fucking tired of all the problems because I just wanted to pass Ghana in one day, two days, because I have my transit visa. Oh, what about transit visa? I have about 26 hours to cross the fucking Togo. So day 38 in Africa has been a piece of shit. I just want to leave this place with my motorcycle. I was ready to go to Burkina Faso and Chad even. Mali, I don't care how dangerous it is, but I just want to leave this place. So, part two of the story. Nearly got fined outside for smoking cigarettes. Not allowed in smoke, so I'm smoking in the bedroom, bathroom. That don't give a I'm a little bit Really? Because even they got their money they're now wasting about two three more hours just to create the paper i bet it's not gonna happen in two three hours and i'm so sick of this corrupted country because i'm finding out more and more info it's a corrupted government they're just sucking all the money in <sighs> can't smoke in public by the law and now i have to wait about i don't know how long but i will have less than 24 hours to pass this on a country from one side to another thank you very much you I really hate you. I'm not gonna visit you ever again. You can suck your own fucking dick. <laughs> yeah, currently waiting to be picked up and going back to the border. Back to our bags. Soon, everything is gonna be done. But this soon is not so soon. And all this day, it was not raining. Spending time, spending all this sunny day here at the hotel. Now it's gonna start raining exactly when we're gonna get back on the motorcycle with all our stuff. Now we have this kind of fucking bullshit fucking sticker. Quick meal, a 
It's getting already dark. And we have no time to waste, so we fucking shove this up in our mouth and put it in ASAP. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the evening and we're getting back on our way because it's fucking dark. I hope it's okay. And somebody's giving me a call, so I have to continue. by the time we finish the snack gave us a warning that uh, take a bus it uh, might be dangerous at this time to drive because you might be attacked by an SUV or a motorcycle so when dares to attack I hope they know how to kill because I'm gonna be fucking ready I'm ready it's the bus 